Hey, uh, Straw here on the shitty mic. I'm going to showcase to you the mod Screen Archer Menu, Sam, done by Maxi. It's an absolutely amazing mod of the year 2022 for Fallout 4. Let's jump right in it. We're going to open the console, we select our main character, and we type SM for Screen Archer Menu, or you hit the assigned MCM hotkey. And here we are with the main menu. Let's close the console. Um, for starters, at the bottom you will always find a couple of hotkeys, depending on the menu you are in. Hotkey F for height does the same as TM in console, hides all the UI elements for you to take screenshots, and is available in every menu of SAM. In this first video, I will show you the main functionality of SAM in terms of adjustments. This is actually the whole revolutionary deal of SAM. It streamlines the way we're handling skeletons and adjustments in the future. What is an adjustment? It's a modification of the skeleton and can include the offsets, rotation and scale of any bone. With this technology you can live pose in-game and easily manage your adjustments such as knee fix, legs for days, shorter neck, you name it, whatever. Now. If you have installed any of the optional adjustments, you can find them in those two menus. Skeleton adjustments will apply to your current selected character only, whereas race adjustments will apply to all members of the selected race that uh, share the same gender, in this case our female humans. Well, let's do something. For good measure, let's go into race adjustments and select knee fix for all our females. Uh, take a look at the knees as I click it. They are adjusting. Knee fix is applied. Those who know, know uh, what big of a deal this is. Um, the skeleton used for all of this is based on the Zack skeleton. So here you go, Zack skeleton with knee fix on all females. No more separate skeletons needed for each gender. Well, let's get back. Let's go to the skeleton adjustment and also add legs for days for our main character only. That's what skeleton adjustments do. And now if you wanted to uh, add multiple adjustments at the same time, you can press the hotkey X. You will see a lot of checkboxes and you could technically uh, select a lot of them at the same time. But we're going to stick with legs for days on this one. X again brings us back to the regular selection and tab brings us back to the main menu. Now in pose adjustments you see all the adjustments currently loaded for that character. If you press the hotkey R order you can change the load order of these uh, adjustments that is relevant if you have multiple adjustments that touch the same bone, you can actually define which one takes precedence. Now press R again to get back to the default. Um, if you want to add an adjustment from here, you can also press E load, which basically brings you into the skeleton adjustment uh, menu again, and you can potentially add more adjustments to your character brings you right back, but we're going to delete this one. Um, if you want to make a new adjustment, you will always have an entry here, but in case you deleted it by mistake or whatever, you can press the hotkey X new to create a new one. And yeah, let's actually get into it. The new adjustment for the moment doesn't contain any information, but let's have a look at it, what you can do with it. The custom skeleton provided for Sam contains a lot of knots for you to work with. I really urge you to explore the options here yourself. There's a lot of extra knots available. And also note, uh, Sam comes with its own tongue mesh. You can craft in the camp station and equip it like a piece of armor and pose it right here. To give you a quick example, let's choose the head, which is in uh, main. You can use the sliders to change the rotation, position and scale here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Head is moving around as you touch the sliders. Let's do a little head bang. Boom, boom. Here you go. Um, 
also you can change the scale if you really wanted to do that you can also click on the number and put uh, a decimal value here just so you see that is also possible what is even cooler you can use the touch sliders at the bottom touch sliders are very nice you keep the left mouse button pressed and as you move your mouse um, you will see that you have really nice fine control over what's going on uh, with the sliders you will find those touch sliders also in other menus of sam really nice feature uh, try it out yourself well let's go to the hotkeys again uh, hotkey x undoes your last change um, hotkey r brings us back to the default values and um, actually let's do a little bit of a change here let's move our head far to the side and we're going back and we have that head movement now saved as a new adjustment in our menu um, when you have set up your new adjustment you can save it as a JSON file you click on the hotkey like on, my, on the cogwheel here <laughs> Uh, you have a couple of options here. Save adjustments will then let you save it. Let's yeah, head move. Let's enter it, and you can see it is renamed, and you can also see that it is now saved in skeleton adjustment. Head move. You can choose it from here. It'll be available for you in the future. What you can also do in that menu, you can define the strength of the adjustment of all the sliders combined with this one slider here. In this case, since we only changed that one rotation on our head, that is exactly what this slider also matches. Reset adjustments um, puts everything to zero and the negates lets you override specific body parts back to the A position. For example, let's do the right hand here. Uh, it will put the hand into the A, uh, A pose position and you can from there on perhaps make easier adjustments than what your selected pose uh, has been giving you. Yeah, well, that is it for the adjustments. Let's continue to the rest of the features on the next videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.